What's going on, Man United fans? Welcome back to another video on Always United. Throughout this video, we're going to cover for you guys tons of news in regards to Manchester United transfer news, specifically Rasmus Hoyland official update, some of the players who are on the verge of departure from the club, and we'll ultimately touch on the latest when it comes to the takeover of the club. It's going to be a highly informative video, so stick with me and let's kick things off. First of all, let's talk about West Ham bids for Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay. According to the Times, West Ham have reportedly held talks with Manchester United midfield McTominay, but the Red Devils are understood to be keen on keeping him as a squad player. The report states that West Ham have still made a verbal offer to the Scottish international, but the bid did not meet United's £45 million valuation. The United Academy product, who also has an option in his contract to extend his stay by another 12 months, is being sought after by West Ham as they're trying to find a replacement, as you guys know, for Declan Rice, who made a £105 million deal move to Arsenal. What's more to mention is that Manchester United rejected a £20 million offer from West time with England international Harry Maguire determined to fight for his place under Eric Ten Hag. Also, according to The Athletic, Hammers boss David Moyes had identified Maguire as a key target this summer. However, United have turned down an initial £20 million offer and West Ham are unlikely to submit a second proposal. Now, one of the reasons that a lot of people thought that Maguire would eventually leave Manchester United was that the player was recently stripped of the club captaincy by Eric Ten Hag with Bruno Fernandes elected to replace him. The Portuguese had already worn the armband for the majority of last season, with the England international slipping down the pecking order at Old Trafford. In the end, Maguire would make just 16 Premier League appearances for the Red Devil during the 2022-2023 campaign. Having said all those things though, as things stand now, it looks as though United will not neither sell Maguire nor Scott McTominay with the suggested prices. Previous reports were also suggesting that Maguire wanted to stay and fight for his position in Manchester United as well. I personally believe that even Harry Maguire is in favor of the idea of leaving the club. You might be asked Asking why? Well, it's clear Gareth Southgate reportedly warned McGuire about his situation in national team. He needs to play more. Meanwhile, Manchester United has Lindelof, Martinez and Rafael Varane in center back position and it seems that he's not going to play as a starting lineup player. So he must choose. Either he can stay and fight and lose his position in national team or leave and prove himself to Gareth Southgate one more time. But then again, what do you guys think about this situation? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. Next up, it can hurt to also talk about all the latest in regards to Fecundo Palestri. The player could once again leave Manchester United on loan as Boca Juniors have shown interest in signing him for the 2023-2024 season. The Argentine Giants are reportedly considering approaching Manchester United for a loan move for the Uruguayan attacker, according to journalist Luis Fergosi. If a temporary move materializes, Pellistri will move away from United for the third time since joining the club in 2020. He had earlier spent the second half of the 2020-2021 season and the entire 2021-2022 season on loan at Alaves before returning turn to Old Trafford last season. It's also worth mentioning that Spanish side Real Sociedad are reportedly in talks with Manchester United over the signing of midfielder Donny van de Beek on a season-long loan. According to the latest news from Spanish websites, Real Sociedad are closing to signing the Dutchman for the 2023-2024 campaign with the option to make the deal permanent should the 26-year-old impress in La Liga. Next up, let's also touch on the situation of Kobe Maynou and his injury. Maynou started United's preseason friendly against Madrid earlier this week, however, a moment of Xavier turned sour when a free collision with Rodrigo ended up forcing the 18-year-old from the pitch. Now the midfielder has taken to social media to send a defiant message to United fans. The Red Devil Academy product wrote, and I quote, I'll be back stronger and in no time. Thanks for your messages and support. United boss Eric Ten Hag was unsure how long the youngster would be out injured for. Hopes Maynu will be back soon as more chances will come his way this season. He was really impressive during the preseason era of this campaign. Maynu will be in a period of rehab in the coming days and weeks and he will hope the injury is not too serious. United season begins in August 14 as you guys know against Wolves. Unfortunately, officially it's also been announced that the player will be away of the pitch for at least two months. Now before we move on, if you want Kobe Mainu to have a speedy recovery, definitely hit that like button. It also helps out with YouTube algorithm and also consider subscribing to Always United for latest Manchester United news. Now it's time to talk about Rasmus Hoyland. Guys, it's pretty much official. We should welcome Rasmus Hoyland with open arms since the latest report from David Ornstein from Athletic states that Manchester United have reached an agreement with Atalanta. Fabrizio Romano has also confirmed this acquisition, which means that there is nothing to concern about. Hopefully, the player can solve Manchester United's striker problem 
problem, which we have been facing for some time now. Now, if you're wondering how much the player eventually costs, it is reported that Manchester United will pay 75 million euros plus a 10 million euro add-on. Hoyland will also undergo medical tests next week. The deal will also last for about six years, which is great in my humble opinion. Share your love and your support and also your thoughts about Rasmus Hoyland and what do you think of the player. Now, as for Sophie and Amrabat, according to the Telegraph, Manchester United can pave the way for Amrabat joining the club through selling a bunch of players this week. Telegraph report also suggests that this week is a vitally important one for Sophie and Amrabat and Manchester United. The player is now Manchester United number one priority after the successful acquisition of Rasmus Hoyland. Last but not least, I'm going to provide you guys with an update in terms of Manchester United takeover. I know we have all grown tired of hearing about the takeover and Glazers are not going to leave our beloved club anytime soon as things stand. Meanwhile, Manchester Mayor Andy Burnham says no one feels completely comfortable about Qatari Royal Sheikh Jassim potentially taking over Manchester United. With the Glazers holding out for a high asking price, Mayor of Manchester Andy Burnham has raised concerns about a possible Qatari takeover but added issues over the nation's human rights record are for the UK government. Sheikh Jassim has insisted he's bidding as a private individual rather than a state entity but there are growing concerns about state ownership in the Premier League. There are also reasons to believe that the takeover might not happen at all since the Glazers might have given up on selling the club and they might want to stay and earn more money from Manchester United. Not to mention that according to Daily Star, the Glazers have now changed their mind once again and demand £8 billion pounds for selling the club, which means that they no longer accept £6 billion pound offers. The situation is getting more and more complicated by the minute and remains to be seen what the eventual fate of the club will be. But until then, I'm curious to know your thoughts on the latest reports. Guys, thank you so much for sticking with me until the end of this video. Definitely share your thoughts on all the news we covered for you guys throughout this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be aware of latest Manchester United news and also consider liking this video which can really help us with YouTube algorithm. Now if you want to hear even more Manchester United news, here are some suggestions and until next time, it's been a pleasure serving you guys.